Usually, these glimpses star Zoya from grade 2, but since she's moving away, we decided to let Minha in the action. Hi, my name is Zoya, and I'm moving next year, and Minha's here and she's going to be seeing the math. Hello. So, let's get to the word problem. Five classrooms from Parkfield Junior School each sent eight students on a free trip to Oscar's Orchard to pick some apples. The students work in pairs. Each pair of students collected four bushels of apples. How many bushels were there in all? Minha made a model for five classrooms and put eight kids in each class. Then she put them into pairs. There were four pairs in each class. Each pair collected four bushels, so four times four equals 16 bushels for each classroom. Repeated addition to add up all the bushels. The 16 became 32, the 32 became 64, and the extra 16 made 80 bushels in all. Zoya so tried multiplication 16 bushels times 5 classroom. She knew that 10 times 5 equals 50 bushels, so, the, so she counted on by 5, 6 more times and got the same answer as I did, 80 bushels in all. Great job, girls. Here comes the next part. Mrs. Piecrest, their principal, promised to make apples to sell to the community to raise funds for new books for their library. With the apples in each bushel, she was able to bake four big pies and two small pies. How many of each size of pie was she able to make in all? And he knew that eight groups of ten bushels is eighty bushels, so she made a ten frame to show the first ten bushels. Bushels of apples could be used to make four big pies and two small pies. Four big pies and times ten bushels is forty big pies for ten bushels. Two small pies times ten bushels is twenty small pies for ten bushels. Remember there was 8 groups of 10 bushels, so 8 times 40 is 320 total big pies and 80 bushels. 8 times 20 small pies is 160 total small pies in 80 bushels. Wow, very impressive girls. Here comes the third part. The big pies were sold for $12, and the small pies were sold for $8. How much money did the school raise? The 
small pies were sold for $8 each, so Minha used repeated addition to add 168 times. The 160s became 320s. The 320s became 640. And the 640s became $1,280 collected from the selling the small pies. The big pies were sold for $12 each. Zoya used repeated addition to add 320, 12 times. That was a lot of adding, but her final answer was $3,840 from selling the big pie. When you add the money from the small pies, you get a big total of $5,120 from selling pies. Wow, that's a lot of money. And I forgot to say, the title for this word problem is Apples for Books. Well, because here comes the fourth part. The librarian took the money to Paul's Perfect Reader Bookstore. Books cost $10 each. How many books could he buy? Did he have any money left? The money was used to buy books. Each book cost $10. Zoya knew that 500 books times $10 would be $5,000 spent. Minha knew that that means there was $120 left to buy some more books. She counted by 10 until 120. That was enough money to buy 12 more books. Altogether, 512 books could be bought by with the $5,120 collected from selling apple pies. Wow, that's a tough problem, right? No way, tough? That was an easy problem. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Gloves channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. There's joy. There's This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.